first encounter a small mole wearing glasses who answers to the name of Mino on your travels? Here's my son. He's been missing for some three months now. You can count on me. Oh, thank you, Arthur. Hey, Hero, let's go. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> you can at least uh, wait for uh, me! <laughs> oh, they won't fall into any traps. Time to get up. Slow down a bit, can't you? No way. It's your fault for loading yourself up like a gamelet. I just packed a little bit of everything. You know, just in case. Uh, what's a gamelet? It's like a patchy mullet, only much bigger. And um, what does a patchy mullet like? Like that. You got something in your bag for dealing with patchy mullets? Don't worry, I got my 300 function pocket knife here. Full knife, multi crab clips, soap bubbles, music box, and for when things get really hot, a Hey, oh god, that's pretty handy, right? And then you got all your plastic functions, like your Peter Pan, Magic, Sun Jules, Whistler, Kelly. Hey, nothing in there to cut off your tongue by any chance? No, but that's your specialty, isn't it? Stay right where you are. Am I sick? No. Mm -hmm. Now. Anybody home? Not many people come through this way. Well, once you've tried it, you'll understand why. Anybody home? Oh, oh, no, I, I'm sorry, I, I mistook you for a bell. Um, uh, no, I mean, I didn't realize you are actually alive. Hey, hold on, back your far, stupid. What do you think you're doing knocking out all my customers like that? It's not as if I have so many to start with. Hello, I am Princess Selenia. I know that, and that is your stupid old brother. And who is the third comedian who comes around knocking out all the customers? My name's Arthur. And I'm looking for my grandfather. Nah, I transported a grandfather a few years ago. An old eccentric madman who absolutely insisted on being transported deep inside Sake's territory. The necropolis. That's him. That's my grandfather. And that's exactly where we want to go. Zola. <laughs> necropolis, sure. Why not the moon as well? For the moon. We asked for three tickets to Necropolis. Is that clear enough? You break my door to steal the key? Answer me, Arthur! Oh, what a job. Right this way. Come on, keep it moving while we're young. Yes, that's a leaf. Let's go down the line. Hey, not even a decoration. You're gonna need it. <laughs> not even that, she made me. Necropolis, oh, oh boy, here we go. Ah, this. That's cool. I got another one just like it in pink. Wanna see it? Spader, we've got enough light already. Uh, where exactly are we heading? We are here, and we're going here. Oh my gosh, I know where that is. That's right under the water tank. The giant water tank, in the hands of that unspeakable piece of... Now I'm starting to understand. Who are you talking about? The most evil of evil. Oh, mouth is off. <gasps> Gamelas, didn't anyone ever teach you to hold your tongue? I'm really sorry. Granny? Hi, the flight. It's pretty short, as long as we can avoid any unpleasant encounters. What do you mean by unpleasant encounters? the door in and now we're stuck. What is that? I have no idea, but I don't think we should hang around and find out. W what are you doing? I'm getting out of here. Oops. Oh, gosh. Somebody's gonna get hurt with this. I'll hang on to it. You'll be safe that way. Instead of the two of us drowning, now all three of us can drown together. Who's gonna drown, Selenia? Surely you're not gonna let a little river frighten you, are you? It's not the river that I'm frightened of. It's that! So, Mr. I'm skippy good ideas before we drown? Sure, of course I have. 
Better? Any chance there's a rope on that tree on the bunch of pocket knife of yours? Uh, no. That's only on the smaller model. Mm. I've got an idea. Hey! Ow. Just because we're gonna die doesn't mean you can start taking liberties. No, you got it all wrong. I, I need the lace to reach that tree over there. I'm not so sure about this idea of yours. Well, I'm sure. <laughs> Arthur, have you ever thrown a sword like that before? No, but it can't be much more difficult than playing darts. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Fantastic can return my lace now. It's already so hard without my husband. I don't know how I'll survive without Arthur. I'm sure he's just run away for a spell. All of these events have probably upset him. Yes. I don't think he could have gotten far, and we're going to do everything we can to find him now. Okay. You can count on us. Yeah. Humans. Really? Yep. Sometimes it's like that all day long. Oh, rats. This map's a total washout. How are you? We're gonna find our way now. We use the position of the sun to guide us when it comes up. In the meantime, let's look for a place to sleep. And make sure you find something comfy, Selenia, because I ache all over. Beta, if you complain once more, you can go sleep under a bull munch. What's a uh, bull munch? It's like a gamble, only much, much bigger. Yeah, I'm gonna need your knife. Come right up. Oh, where did they put that metal? Thing? <laughs> Oops. Oh. Give that to me, Beta, hey. before you end up hurting somebody. Just hang on. I haven't had it very long. I just got it for my oh, birthday. Oh, nice. I'm 300 years old. Only another 60 years, I will be a grown-up. How old Selenia then? Almost a thousand years old. A thousand years old? Oh, yes. The age of reason. It's her birthday in two days. This is working. Got it. What's she up to? She's making the bed. Ah, I'm exhausted. Good night. Well, he doesn't need trouble sleeping, does he? It's normal. He's still young. 300 years young. It's not bad. What about you? Are you really gonna be a thousand years old in two days? Ah, uh, yes. And in two days' time, I'm to succeed my father and watch over the many more people until it shall come to pass that my own children reach the age of one thousand and succeed me. Such is the tradition. But to have children, you need a husband. I know, but I'm not worried. I still have two whole days to find one. And now, good night. Arthur? Good night. Princess. Get up, boys. We've got a long journey ahead of us today. Oh, I said get up. I'll call for a change of tactic. Come on now. Shower time. That's what I call a rude awakening. City, you're so lucky. She's been waking me up like that every morning for the last 300 years. Better than the other ones. Here, try some. Mm -hmm. mm, tastes good. What is it exactly? Dragon fly eggs. <coughs> hey, come and take a look at this. <sighs> I suppose, uh, seen from this angle, it is uh, less attractive. Anybody have an idea what this thing is for? It's an irrigation system. It transports water. water? More water? Oh, I'm really sorry. I had absolutely no idea. Wait, 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 wait a minute. You mean that you're the one who built this monstrosity? Yes, but I, I only wanted to water the radishes. Granny loves radishes. What? You mean you actually eat those disgusting things? Let's just hope your invention doesn't fall into the hands of the evil M. Otherwise, I have a pretty good idea of what it'll do with it. Source. As long as they're getting rid of those things, I see the doing as a favor. Try thinking before you talk, Adamesh. The evil M knows only too well that the mini moys can't stand water, and your friend Arthur here just provided him with the means to transport water. Now, where do you suppose he'll oh, send it to? A village. Where are you going? To repair the 